out of the ministry. What on earth are you talking about? Well, I know that my enemies are probably hoping that I'm going to be announcing that I'm resigning from the ministry, but no. That's not what this video is about. Not going to happen. Sorry. But uh, you can shut the video off now and write your nasty comment below and make sure to push, you know, the, the thumbs down thing, you know. <laughs> but uh, what I'm talking about here is something that this is kind of an exhortation. I already told a sister, friend of the ministry over in Australia about this, and um, I'm going to be sharing it with the body of Christ for the reason of warning my sisters in Christ in particular. Um, got a letter here. I'm not going to give the name out. But a uh, friend of the ministry, uh, for many years she was a follower of the ministry and a follower of Jesus Christ. She didn't follow me, um, but she was, you know, faithful and she would post comments and she had her own blog. She had her own YouTube channels making videos and things. And I watched some of her videos and it was a real blessing and things. And, and, um, and she just kind of disappeared a little while back and I kind of thought, you know, I wonder what's going on. And um, get this letter, and uh, she basically has said some things which I'm going to be discussing. I feel I need to, to make some statements here, um, but mostly this is this video is being done to warn um, sisters out there in the Lord. And she said that basically she had a man come to her and I guess write to her and say that uh, she's overstepped her bounds and she's confused about different Bible topics, and she's a woman should not be teaching men, and you know, the whole thing, um, which is true in a church setting, but this is a public forum, okay? If you're a, if you're a saved uh, lady, saved Christian lady, and you're out at the store someplace, and you hear a man saying, asking a question about the Bible, you're an ambassador of Jesus Christ, a minister of reconciliation. You know, those, those verses there, um, they're written both to men and women. Okay, um, we are ambassadors for Jesus Christ, and you don't just say, "Well, you know, I'm just, I can't say anything because he's a man. I'm not supposed to teach men." You know, no, it's a public place. Okay, the prohibitions in First Corinthians 14 and First Timothy chapter two about women being silent and not teaching men or usurping authority over the man. That's talking about the assembling of the saints. All right, you let the male elders rule things and run things and stuff like that. But when you get out there in the world. You, Christian lady, you have a responsibility to witness for Jesus Christ. And if you see a brother or a sister that's got some issues or things, you know, doctrinal issues and things like that, talk to them about it, okay? You know, I mean, you, if you're a Christian lady and you see a man and he's struggling doctrinally, you can straighten him out doctrinally but say, okay, you want more information on this? Go watch... Brother Brian's videos or Brother so-and-so or here's a book from so-and-so. These men here, they taught me. They can teach you. All right? There's nothing in the world wrong with that. But these snakes will come along and they will, they will, they will look for women that are boldly standing for Jesus Christ and they'll start to put the pressure to you and they'll start to say, you shouldn't be doing this and you shouldn't be doing that and whatever else. And that's what happened here. And this sister deleted everything that she had online and said she's going to take a break from the ministry. Now, um, do you think the Holy Spirit would tell a saved woman to do that? And I'm not, I'm not going to judge her. I'm not going to say, oh, I think she was actually lost. She's a false convert. I'm not going to say that for one minute. All right. Uh, I don't know at this point in time. I mean, some of the stuff in this letter makes you kind of, you know, scratch your head. But, uh, you know, what I'm seeing here is a sister lost husband and she's like get some false prophet attacking her her husband's not there spiritually protecting her and so she just goes uh, and she panics and shuts her whole ministry down i can tell you right now the holy spirit was not behind that decision the holy spirit is not going to tell you to stop and take a break in ministry all right absolutely ridiculous but in this letter, she said that uh, my attitude, that I display pride in my attitude um, because I get sarcastic and I call, I say, if you're stupid enough to believe this, if you're dumb, this guy's an idiot and things like that. And she said, that's pride. I'll talk about that in a minute. But then she also said that my wife is bitter. 
towards her parents and other people and things from her past because my wife gets very, very vocal and says about my mother was a goon and, and this, this kind of a thing. Um, let me explain a couple things. Okay, first of all, my wife has forgiven her parents for what was done, but her parents continue in the same line of doing things. You don't say, hey, I forgive you, come back and walk all over me again. That's not the Christian way. When the Bible talks, when Jesus talks about loving your enemies, how is it loving your enemies if they're continually stabbing you in the back and you say, oh, just, you know, you missed a spot, get me over there. Um, it's loving your enemies to give them the truth. And the truth is going to scare away lost relatives and they're going to say, is that all you ever want to talk about and stuff like this? That was the whole reason that we had a big blow up with her parents and we haven't really talked to them since this whole thing. You know, of them, they came here, we were hospitable, everything else, and her mother cussed, and I yelled at her for swearing in my home. I said, that does not work here. You know, I'm a preacher, they know I'm a preacher, and she cusses in my home, in my kitchen. It's like, nah, I don't think so. And why was it, though? Because my wife was giving them the truth. She was just truth, 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 truth to her mother, her lost mother. Forgive you. But don't come around. Unless you change, stay away. That's the way it is. That's the way this thing's going to be. Okay? People have a very warped sense of saying, you know, uh, you have anger about things that happened in your past and that's wrong. You can have anger, right, and still be for a forgiving person. And again, another part of what my wife sees and what my wife has been a part of in her life, she is a very intimate knowledge of the, how the Jesuit whole system works because she was raised in that whole system. And she is bitter towards that system. Why? Because it continues. They continue in their evil. They're not turning from it. I mean, I will, I'll tell you right now, my wife will be the first person to forgive people that come out of the system and demonstrate that they truly have come out of the system. When she sees true repentance, she's going, Praise the Lord. She's jumping up and down. I mean, she's just, she's excited. But if you think she's dumb enough to say, hey, these people that have been, you know, attacking me and stabbing me in the back my whole life, I'm just going to let them keep doing it. That's not true love. That's not loving your enemies. All right? So don't, don't tell me this thing. Oh, you're better. You know, was... That was wrong to say about my wife. Okay, first of all. Secondly, the thing of pride. Accusing me of pride. Right. And, I, and, you know, I'm covering this thing because I've gotten this thing quite a bit. Your attitude boasts of, you know, you have all this knowledge. People say you're, you're you know, much learning doth make thee mad. Um, and so you're, you're, you're boasting and you're putting other people down intellectually. Uh, well, if I was doing that, I would be pointing people back to the source of their new final authority. I don't do that. Okay. If you know me, how many times do I hold up the Bible and say, Here's your authority. Jesus is your authority. Not me. Not me. No, not me. I don't have a pride issue as far as me coming out and speaking against wicked things out there. I struggle with pride. All right? As a man, I struggle with pride from time to time. I do things and I say things and I, you know, whatever else. And I have to apologize to my wife for it and whatever. But in terms of the ministry, the reason I am vocal, the reason I say, I call people names and things like that is because I want to speak boldly. I want people to come away from these videos saying, I know what Brian Denlinger teaches. I know what stands he takes. He's not wishy-washy. He's not politically correct. It's not because I am intellectually superior to people. I don't point to myself. I don't say, hey, bring it back here to the final authority. Uh-uh. No, you'll never see that. All right. I am simply saying, Again, I understand the wicked system out there, the Catholics, the, the Alexandrian cult and things, the people behind the new versions, and, and how they would con continually demean and bring Bible-believing Christians down and make you feel like you're less than pond scum or something. I'm going to call these people out, and I'm going to call them names, and I'm going to say you people are wicked and, you know, everything else. I mean, read, read Matthew chapter 23, you know? The words of Jesus Christ, calling people vipers and snakes and, you know, all the other things, hypocrites. So, this letter here demonstrates 
what the devil wants to do. He wants to take Christians out of the ministry. He wants to convince you that uh, you really didn't have the right attitude and you really didn't say it quite right, so you'd really be better off just uh, take a break from the ministry. Delete everything that you do. You need to just kind of step back and, and just, just take your videos down. They're hurting people. You, you need to study the Bible more. And the sister that I know over in Australia, she had actually had the same thing happen to her. A man wrote her a private message and, and was doing the exact same thing. You need to take some of your videos down. They're causing division. They're, you, you just don't know the Bible well. And you're listening to some very dangerous men and things like this. And, and uh-huh. Servants of Satan is what these men are. And they particularly go after women. And they'll say, you know, Brian Denlinger, he's a heretic and stuff, and you're following him, and, uh, you know, you need to stop listening to him. He's teaching work salvation. He's prideful. His wife's bitter. They're this, they're that. Stop listening to him. And, you know, again, brethren, you don't have to agree with me in everything. But for goodness sake, don't let anybody talk you out of, of, of being in ministry. I mean, if I get to a point where I say something that you don't approve of and you say, you know what, I don't think he proved his point from Scripture. I think he's wrong. Okay, fine. Disagree with me in that point. But don't shut down your ministry. Don't stop serving the Lord because some snake comes along and tries to tell you that you're wrong doctrinally and you have to drop the thing. So... Very disheartening to, to, to hear that, uh, especially because, you know, the sister we had known for years, and it's just like, uh, I'm not so much upset at her as I'm upset at these wicked, stinking false prophets. And, and again, that's why I'm just like, I spot these guys in the, in the comment sections, and I'm just like, I nail them. You're gone. <laughs> Blocked. Out. You know, YouTube is a public forum. I understand that. I can't stop these people from getting in and things. And of course, you know, these guys, they'll, they'll come up with like multiple channels. And they just have channel after channel after channel. They keep creating new channels to get back into mine. You know, I'm a heretic, but, and, and not worth watching and I'm a liar and everything else. And yet they keep, they'll create seven or eight channels just so that they can get back in and watch my videos. It's not the Holy Spirit, brethren. I mean, I can, I can tell you, it, uh, I'm trying to think if I've ever been, I know I've been banned from a couple channels. I don't go and, and use other accounts to get in there and, and watch the videos. And, you know. <sighs> so, please, um, both brothers and sisters out there, um, don't let people take you away from ministry. Um, if, you're, if you're doing something for the Lord, um, <laughs> keep at it, okay? So, that's going to be it. Um, I'm not going to give the name out, but, but just pray for this sister that uh, the Lord would reveal things to her and uh, re reveal to her that she's made a very serious mistake. Not in attacking me, not in attacking my wife. That's secondary. The mistake was deleting her whole ministry. Um, that's a mistake. It's a shame. <laughs>